Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KidBadger.com out here to tell you about the 8th annual SOCF fundraiser. If you're unfamiliar, SOCF, Special Operation Care Fund. And so it is a charitable organization, it's a nonprofit, and kind of unique though in that there's a lot of things, honestly, that are taken care of. Things that the VA does, maybe not the most efficiently, but they do eventually do some good work and some other organizations out there. But a number of years ago, approximately eight, basically Dave Kramer and some other guys ended up getting together and realized there was some white space and basically some needs that weren't getting met. And they were like, how, how can we help people? How can we, how can we repay some people that honestly the Dacian nation owes a debt of gratitude to? And when you look at the special operations community, it's pretty small with respect to numbers as far as how many people there are in it versus how many people are in like the military at large. And then with that, they're usually doing the lion's share of the work, like the heavy lifting. So they got together and ended up creating Special Operation Care Fund, which essentially does some pretty amazing work. And once a year, they end up getting together and doing an annual fundraiser. This one was the eighth annual fundraiser, and it was out at the Barnsley Resort, northwest, I guess, of Atlanta, Georgia, and it was pretty amazing. Well, the crux of the event is kind of that Friday, like the activities throughout the day, and then that night. Thursday is actually a lot of fun. Aside from like amazing catered meals and things along those lines, get to go shoot sporting clays. And Thursday is like the fun day. So end up going out there, getting paired up with people you probably do not know, and yeah, get to go through the sporting class. They basically have two different courses, and it's a ton of fun. Just walking, getting to know the people you're with, and shooting sporting class. And as far as the people out there, kind of three different groups of people. One, you have operators, whether current or retired, and then you also have a bunch of industry people who largely kind of support SOCF with respect to like really generous donations and stuff like that as far as things to be raffled or auction, things like that. And then you also actually have some really, really generous benefactors that come out in support of SOCF and yeah, end up bidding on things during that auction and yeah, donating to SOCF. But really awesome time out there on day one, shooting sporting clays. Then starting off on day two, there's a pretty cool breakfast where essentially the mission of SOCF kind of gets fleshed out for everyone in attendance and a number of the operators there get to kind of share some of their stories. And with that, essentially drive home like what the mission is and how that mission has really affected a lot of people. And to that end, like, yeah, what does SOCAP do? Well, they do a number of things, and then they also branch out into even further things. Like, some of the things they do is they provide counseling for families within the special operations community to stay together. And that is huge. I mean, you have divorces high enough in America then you have the military, and then you have the special operations community with their like op-tempo deployments. It is really rough on a family. And keeping that family together, arguably one of the most important things you can do. And then on top of that, they also do a lot of stuff with Gold Star Children, and they do some really, really amazing stuff with PTS and brain injury. And when I say amazing stuff, I mean like, transformative stuff like to the end of actually funding studies that will hopefully down the road become mainstream but basically proof of concept being like hey we're going to approach this in these different ways through these things that right now are like arguably experimental and get people back on track which they've had amazing success with and that alone I think is incredible. One of the things they fund is a project that essentially, basically you have people breaching all the time in training or like through live fire, well I say live fire, like deployed combat 
all these blast waves basically pushing through and all that stuff basically wreaks havoc on your body, pituitary gland, all that stuff. Totally messes up all of your hormones and everything like that. And after 20 years, 20 plus years, people get out and they're wrecked. And so one of these organizations actually approaches it from the standpoint of supplementing people, getting their body back to where it needs to be to actually maintain like healthy physiological like response as far as just nervous system, everything like that, hormone levels, all of those things. And so that being kind of one branch and then also some other different things that complement that and yeah, bring people back, which is really incredible. But after that breakfast, it's time to get on to some more shooting clays or sporting clays, shooting clays at sporting clays. Ivan, why sporting clays? Because it's humbling. You have these guys from like CAG, Dev Group out there and it's like, here's a shotgun. Incredibly competent people, but shooting sporting clays is not front sight focus or anything else. And yeah, it's pretty humbling. And so you have people out there, some of the benefactors that come out there and they're just like, oh yeah, like this, bam, 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 like clean stages. And then, man, it can be frustrating. But overall, it is an amazing experience that is like bonding on a certain level. Get to know the people you're with and everyone out there, just awesome people. Really incredible time going through and yeah, shooting clays. And then finally, once that was over, it was time for the auction. The auction, pretty incredible and amazing on a couple levels. On the one hand, you have some just straight like one-off stuff. Like, I want to say there was a, a pistol or maybe two by the time the thing was over. Basically made by Zev and yeah, like Damascus steel. Like just some like, straight up works of art. And all kinds of pieces that were basically like pretty much unobtainium. Like there's like one of them made. I want to say Hodge ended up donating one of the new like Mod 2 in 6 Arc. Pretty sure there was only two of those guns in the world. And all kinds of different stuff. And you also had some really incredible like historic pieces. Flags that were carried in the combat in some pretty crazy places by some pretty amazing like groups of men. And all kinds of other things like that. And then there were some like really historic pieces too in that live auction. There was actually a, well, basically the lower was not there, as in there was a brand new Knight's Armament SR-25 lower, but that SR-25 upper and kind of all the other accoutrement in the deployment case, like that was carried by this CAG operator for like two years overseas. And eventually he rotated out that gun ended up going to another guy, carried it for another year, ended up actually getting killed in Iraq. And yeah, that gun ended up getting sold. And well, the upper, obviously, they're not selling that lower, not getting that from the government, but some pretty amazing like historic pieces like that. And with that, some kind of pretty cool art that happened too. I had the opportunity to meet Joe Everson, incredibly talented artist in kind of big picture. He ends up basically singing while he paints and there's a reveal at the end. And I remember I had the good fortune actually to go to this event last year, the seventh annual one. And I remember watching just enthralled and I'm like, man, like I, what is going on? Like, this is cool. And then the reveal at the end, I'm like, ah, like I did not have my camera running. So this year I made sure I actually filmed it. And yeah, pretty incredible. If tomorrow all the things are gone, I have worked for all my life. If I had to start again with just my children and my wife, I thank my lucky stars to 
to be living here today Cause the blacks will stand for freedom And they can't take that away And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston, from New York to LA, there is pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say. That painting ended up getting auctioned in a bunch of other amazing stuff. I want to say Sons of Liberty Gunworks ended up auctioning some guns where you got flown down San Antonio, ended up building out these guns, getting totally kitted out, like getting a mall, night vision, all of this stuff, and then going and just straight up slaying pigs down there with Chuck Pressburg for like a couple nights, which is pretty rad. And Kevin Brittingham from Q, he ended up auctioning some guns again, go get a build them at Q, and then go to Africa and go hunt. Like, incredible stuff. And the amount of money this stuff raised too was pretty staggering. I'm just sitting there like trying not to make a sudden movement because like turn around real quick, be like sold, and I'll be like, ah. Uh. What's like your 60 year payment plan for that thing that I just bought? But it was incredible. Some amazing, generous people in that room. And I think the live auction alone ended up netting a million dollars, which is mind blowing. Especially when you look at kind of perspective too. This being the eighth annual, I wanna say the first one they raised like 25,000 and they raised like 1 million in that live auction. And then I think through the silent auction and raffle and some other generous donations, like another 2 million. So like 3 million bucks in one night. And that's huge because that's $3 million. Like actually $3 million. What do I mean by that? It's a hundred percent pass through. The entire board is volunteer. No one draws salaries. There's no private jets. There's no giant special building like Wounded Warrior Project. Like no, one, no one's pulling salaries or anything like that. 
you have a bunch of really dedicated people dedicated to their mission, doing good work and helping people. Coming away from it, it was a really incredible event. On the one hand, getting to meet some incredibly generous donors and yeah, just watching that live auction and then turning around and getting to meet and interact with amazing Americans that are the recipient of that generosity and having their lives changed. SOCF, they do incredible stuff. And again, like just finding white space and getting people the help they need that is not currently provided with other organizations to include the VA. And yeah, so cool. And for an organization like this to be 100% pass through, where that 3 million is going straight to helping people and not someone's jet or some sort of massive office space, that's cool. I mean, Dave and the rest of the group, they volunteer and basically run it out of his garage. That's incredible. But such a cool organization and a really amazing event. If you'd like to support SOCF, a number of different ways you can do so. There'll be a link down below. You can uh, yeah, check it out and donate if you would like. As far as going out to the event, it is invitational. I'm not exactly sure how to get that invite, but pretty incredible event and amazing organization doing really good work. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Each one. All right. Pull. Yeah! Yes! 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 Yeah! 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 Woo! Woo! That thing nice. was wide open, that was, awesome. that was awesome, man. That was awesome. Oh, shit. You want to top off?